Good morning everyone. So I am dumb. I basically didn't end the vlog last night after I filmed the last clip of everyone arguing in the kitchen. We ordered food and then literally just got in bed. However, it's now the next day and I have just been at uni. I packed my bag this morning, packed my camera batteries, did everything, didn't pack my camera. So I've now finished uni. I'm just at Westfields as you can probably see. But yeah, uni was all right this morning actually. I find uni interesting when we have guest lecturers and we had a guest lecturer in who was like the editor of a film and video like production company, which were really interesting. So I'm leaning more towards video than I'm actually towards photography, which is really cool. I mean, it's not cool considering I'm studying photography, but like when we have lectures like that in, I find it interesting. However, it's finished now. It's now the afternoon time. I'm coming into Westfields because I need to get Ella's birthday present. I need to go to the post office. And I also need to nip in Louis Vuitton. So I'm gonna do that. Right, I found Ella a birthday present which I'm really happy with. I'm just currently waiting for it to be sorted and like ready for me to collect. So I'm gonna nip into Louis Vuitton because I got given it a bracelet. Saf bought me a bracelet. It's slightly too big. So I'm gonna see if they can make it smaller. I don't know if they will be able to fix my bar. What are we gonna see? I don't know where Louis Vuitton is. This is the fancy side of West Coast, which I'm not used to. So yeah, I feel really fancy heading into Louis Vuitton. Just being like, oh, I got a bracelet. I need it fixed in now. Right, we're back on my camera now. Oh, the lighting's really weird. Ooh. Hello. Speaking of weird. Hi, Has. She's gone for a natural glam today, hi, you know, you uni. Know. It's literally like, hi, Can. Oh. Hi, guys. Check this out. I'm with Chandler. It's coming mm -hmm. soon. I've come back home from uni to a bunch of parcels. Oh, I also went into a place called Herbal Revival. I'm just going to close my door because no one has respect around here. But yeah, I went into Westfields, literally was meant to nip in, grab Ella's birthday present and like literally just do all that stuff. I knew what I was getting. Ella, I knew that I needed to go to the post office, so I thought, oh, Oh my god, it's gonna be so fast, so fun. Um, and I was in there an hour because I went into Urban Revival. I was just trying to balance my camera. I ended up going into Urban Revival, which is a really cool shop in Westfield. Why is my camera not balancing? And I ended up picking out a shirt. Now, I was really unsure on whether or not to get it or not, but I ended up getting it anyway. But I'll show you that in a second. But for now, I've been sent a couple of parcels. Now, I saw my management team were working with Casey Fight. This is not like part of the video. They don't even know. I'm vlogging this. I just, I feel like I have to disclaim everything that I've been ever gifted when I'm showing in a vlog. I literally, I'm just meant to post on my Instagram story about these. So as you all know, or may not know actually, I've not really shared it, but I got the new iPhone 11. Basically before everyone's like, oh my god, flex. I basically got it because I were paying £100 a month for my last phone, which is ridiculous. I don't know how I ended up getting in that deal or like paying that for literally like two years. However, I were due to upgrade my phone and I was just going to continue my current contract and just roll it over and just stick with it because I'd been used to it for two years. And then I got an email like I can upgrade to the iPhone 11 for £65 a mom. So in my last contract, this is probably boring for people that don't give a shit. I find it kind of interesting and really like, how the hell does that even work? My last contract on my phone, so I had an iPhone X, I was paying £100 a month. I had 10, a 15 gigabyte of data and the 250 gigabyte of storage space on my phone. Alright, deal. In fact, no, it's a fucking awful deal. So, I got offered by O2 to have 90 gigabyte of data, so 90 gigabyte of internet. The same size memory on my phone, so 256 gigabyte of phone storage and then the newest iPhone for £65 a month. So I'm literally saving money by having the new phone anyway but that being said i didn't have a case to put on it still not had a case so i was gonna buy a case on casetify and then i saw casetify themselves actually gifting a bunch of my friends phone cases so i emailed my manager and we're like hi don't know if this is really cheeky oh my god it's the one i wanted oh my god this is so cool i was gonna buy this anyway but i thought you know i'd be cheeky and ask see if they could gift it me it's just literally just a clear case and then it's got like a little receipt type vibe thing going off i don't know if you can see that how cool is that it reminds me of something off white had released which is why i was like Oh my god, I'm all over that shit. So yes, just got this lovely little phone case. Oh my god, it's a good phone case as well. Like she's a hefty like throw me at a brick wall and will not smash type of phone case. I love that. Have fun. I think mean, it's very my vibe. I really like that. Thank you so much, Casey I will leave a link to the website in the um, thing. And then I don't know what this is. I think it's the Body Shop. Oh, I never ever used to use Body Shop products before I got sent them. So I don't know if I'm on the Body Shop PR list or like how it works, but they keep sending me things, which I'm really grateful for. And it's really like sorted my skin out. The last package I got from Body Shop were full of tea tree stuff. And since then I've literally been buying the stuff that like, I use the full face wash and I've just bought a new one because like it's that good. So I'm excited to see what's in here. Oh cute, this is like an abundance of stuff. So I've tried this before. This is really, really nice. So this is Oh wow, this is a hand wash. I've had a, I'm pretty sure I've had a body wash version of this. Balkan Juniper, I don't know how to pronounce this. Hand wash, 
This seems really nice. I'm curious to see what it smells like. Oh wow. This smells really nice. Oh shit, I'm pouring it everywhere. It seems it smells like a aftershave. This is really like a manly man smell. Don't know if that's intended, but I really like that. That's nice. I'm gonna put that in the bathroom. And then we have maca roots and aloe soft shaving cream. Oh wow, I don't actually use any sort of shaving creams. So I'm right, I think this is like a men's men's sort of grooming and skincare. Because that did smell really masculine. Oh wow. When I say masculine also, let's not try and get triggered. Um, I know it's 2019. It's not like a typical like men's changing room smell. In a good way, like fresh men. That's what that smells like. This smells really good as well. I also need to shave, so that might come in handy. Yes! We have what I literally just said about the um, tea tree scrub that I were using. I've used all the actual face wash. Alongside the face wash, I were using this scrub. This is a tea tree face scrub, so I literally put this on my face first, give my face a good wash in the shower, and then I use the actual like face wash, which is what I ran out of and literally rebought. I'm so glad I didn't buy this the other day. I was in the store, They're like, do I buy this just for when I run out? But I didn't buy it. Oh my god, this is perfect. This stuff, alongside with the rest of the tea tree stuff from Body Shop, absolute like wow, love that. I oh oh. Right, I'm gonna Instagram story some of this stuff because I really appreciate it. So, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna make myself some noodles because I'm literally starving, like actually so damn hungry. So, I'm gonna do that and then I'll chat to you. I don't know when I'm meeting Anna. I'm meant to be meeting Anna at some point today. I don't know what time. We're meant to be going and grabbing food before we've got an event tonight. I didn't even mention that. We've got an event tonight, but we're meant to be grabbing food beforehand, then going to the event, also meeting my manager. There's a lot going off, but I'm just gonna film it instead of telling you about it. So, I'm gonna do some Instagram story bit, do a bit of uni work, have my lunch actually. I really need to eat. Oh my god. Before I do any of that, I'm going to show you this shirt. I'm going to show Haz as well because I'm not too sure about it. I asked the return policy and I've got like 30 days to return it. I wanted to try it on with just a different outfit because it's really, really nice. But then it, it was 30 pounds and for a shirt, I'm like 30 pounds for a shirt? Like, bitch, come on. I'm being super fucking lazy right now, but I don't actually want to like get fully undressed to then try this on just to show you. So this is a shirt. It's like a really fun. I could imagine a mechanic in like America in like a film maybe with the little thing on there that says his name, like working, wearing this. I think it's really, really cool. It's got two big pockets which actually open from the side here and it's just like a grey moment I've got a couple of shirts now which I've been wearing quite a lot But I don't actually have anything this colour and do you know what? I don't actually hit it in this outfit like this Probably not with these trousers I don't actually hit it with this jumper underneath I'm gonna show it has But yeah, I probably wouldn't wear it with the jumper underneath But just because I can't be bothered to take it off This is what it looks like Kind of fun, kind of fresh Let me know in the comments I don't have to save it or not Also, these trousers are really fun So my friend Joel released a capsule collection with Jaded London And these are like the flared trousers I've been wanting some flared trousers for the longest time. Pick these up, little contrast stitch moment. I think they're really, really cool. The only thing that throws me off is when I walk, like the fabric flies everywhere. And because there's a slit at the bottom, the wind earlier like pushed it around my foot. So I was walking around like this with my full like leg out, but I think they're really cool. A little different moment for my wardrobe, but I think they're really, really cute. Anyway, I'm gonna show Has this shirt and see what she thinks. Right, I've got my noodles on. I've literally just eaten this entire thing of Jaffa cakes. Now I know that's not a big like thing of Jaffa cakes, but whoever can eat, just one Jaffa cake and put the full pack back. Like, I don't know how you do it. I'm down to the last three. And I'm about to eat noodles, so maybe it wasn't the best decision. But also, like, how could I not, you know? I think it's kind of rude not to eat the full thing. This really just does not look appetizing whatsoever. Like, at all. Freya's trying an outfit for Anna's birthday party next week. Oh no, it's this week, on Friday. Literally two days. I should have already left and that's Anna probably texting me now, but this is what I'm wearing. I'm literally wearing the same outfit I've had on all day. Literally just put on some shoes and added a little bag. I'm gonna head off now, I should have already left, but here we are. I think the skirt's cute. Um, with a belt, mm, I prefer without a belt. Right, I need to leave. Bye. So, in GBK with Anna now, we're gonna grab some food before- Hi! Nice to meet you! We are gonna grab some food before we go to the event. Haz is not coming anymore because she's not well, but we've been GBK. How long have we been sat here? Like easily half an hour. We've been sat here like half an hour. And we kept looking over to the woman like, she's gonna come over and all, like take our orders. I kept looking at her and she was just smiling. And we just realised that it's just clicked that we probably should like go up and order. But we prefer table service. Oh, no, we've been sat here this entire time like, for fuck's sake, what the fuck's happening? Right, we're gonna go order. Um, so it turns out we did need to go up and order, which is fun, love that for us. Thank God I realised we actually wanted to feel sat here for ages.
Right, so we've literally just got out of the event now. We've got our t-shirts in hand, basically. LS were doing like customized t-shirts, so you picked a bunch of patches. They still come on a black t-shirt for you, but there were that many people doing it and wanting t-shirts done that we didn't actually get a chance to have as stitched on. And they said they would take it back to the studio and have it all done there. I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna take it with me. Freya's got a sewing machine, so got mine and Anna's t-shirts in hand with the patches, hi, and we're gonna you. every time I put the camera hi. on you, you're like, hi. Every time you start the camera, you're like, right, <laughs> right, so. But I cut that out, so. Oh. so we are heading back to the tube session now. I'm just gonna hop on the tube. The event was really, really cool. Like, I love the vibe there. Everyone's so cool. The entire night, me and Anna were just stood looking at everyone, being like, oh my god, we I were want like, to be you. We want the playlist and we want the people. We want the playlist. <laughs> we want to be friends with all the people. I was saying to Anna, I wish like on Sims you had like a little arrow above your head that you could like put your Instagram and stuff on just so people could like see who you are. You could turn it on and off as and when you wanted to. But in an environment like that, I'd want it on just so I can see everyone. Not so everyone can see me, but more so I can like stalk everyone's Instagrams or just follow them because everyone was so, so cool there. Anyway, Anyway, we're heading back to the tube session now. Anna's stupidly getting a train back home and then getting on another train in the morning. And what time train you'll have to get? Like 9 o'clock? Like 9 o'clock, 9 30. She's gonna have to get on a train at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning to come back to London, to come to ours. And then we're gonna thought like Park. Full on couple of days. Oh, yeah, we've got, in fact, it's a full like weekend. It's, it's a full, basically. Yeah, we've got so tomorrow and... we have we have a meeting and then we also have Thought, thought Park in the evening with Boots. And then the day the after day, is Anna's birthday. No, oh my god, we've got another meeting and then we've got Anna's birthday party in the evening. And then I'm waking up that morning. Going to Sheffield and it's just a long thing, so long I'm praying Freya can um, sort this t-shirt out because it's really really cool. I'm kind of glad she didn't stitch it on because now I can play around with the placement a bit more. You'll probably as soon take as the I, big one off. Yeah, as soon as I handed her my t-shirt, I said to Anna, I wish I put that in a slightly different place. So now I can do that myself. Slurt so Freya, out. if you want to get your knitting needles out, now's the time. <laughs> <laughs> 